Hi everybody, it's Nikki and I am here to do a video that is personal experience, um, personal demo, no medical advice whatsoever. Um, and I'm doing this only because today I went and saw my endo um, and he ordered, he did an A1C test in, the, in his in office lab. Um, and I do like when possible, every now and then, um, to run a home A1C test at the same time, just to kind of see how that how those numbers line up and whether or not it was whether or not it's accurate. Um, there have been brief stretches where I have not gotten A1Cs drawn, you know, at the doctor's office. So I've relied on home A1Cs, and I've heard everything from they are very accurate to they're terrible, you know, and everything else. Um, and I've been using home A1Cs for you know I'm gonna guess six or seven years and I've always had great luck with them um, but with that being said an occasional 0.2 off um, which is usually the most it's been off 0.2 maybe even 0.3 but it's almost always within 0.1 of my actual A1C um, so since I was going to do this anyway um, I figured I'd go ahead and try to do it here because some people ask you know um, how long does it take can you do it by yourself um, you know so here's a demonstration Anyway, these are the ones that I order. This is A1C Now Professional, um, the multi-test HB A1C system. Um, let me take a look at the box. And this comes, this is a 10 pack. And inside the 10 pack, there is one analyzer. So don't throw that away if you do get, you know, one of these multi-packs. Um, and then you can see enough kits, I mean, enough pieces for 10 individual tests. Um, so when I'm done with my, when I'm done doing it, I'll put this back in the box and put that back in the fridge. I do, as much as I talk about, you know, not thinking I actually need to store insulin or a Frezza or whatever in the fridge, I do store these in the fridge. And I do make sure that when I take it out of the fridge that it has, it has gotten back to room temperature because the only error I've ever gotten in this was where I tried to do it when it was still cold. Um, so, okay. So that's that. Other things I need, I need to get one of the number one pouch, which has got the the, um, the shaker and it's got a lancing device, which I'm not going to use. Um, and then the number two pouch, which they say very clearly, do not open until you're ready. And I've never opened it until I'm ready, so I don't know what happens if you do. Um, and my lancing, my lancer, my lancing device, um, analyzer. And here are the instructions. I've done this so many times that I don't need the instructions, but so I can actually try to do a clear demonstration, I'll read them. Um, okay, I think that's it. All right, so step one is they tell you to open your pouch number one, the black pouch. Um, and inside you're gonna have your shaker. And this is actually your little collection thing. That's where you're gonna put the blood in. Um, when you go, when you do your finger stick and you get the uh, drop of blood, you wanna make sure that you fill it all the way to the end because if you don't put in enough, it won't read it. Um, and you don't wanna overfill it, which is the same thing we try to do with our, with our meters, I mean, with our um, test strips. So it's very similar and it actually doesn't take much more than what you would get, than what you would squeeze for a test strip. Um, you know, it's just being thorough and taking your time on this step. Okay, so I got those two out. Um, step two, collect blood. As I said, oh, interesting, I don't even know where their little thing is. Maybe, maybe it didn't come in this pack. They usually send a very small lancing device. I don't like it anyway. So here's my, here's mine for my meter. My favorite finger. Okay. And I'm going to milk it a little bit. I don't know how you guys milk your blood. Um, I've been told that if you force it too much, it can actually give you a bad reading on a meter. I don't know if it's true for an A1C, but I really don't want to squeeze the blood out. So I kind of knead it a little bit until I know I have a pretty good drop. All right, and then I'm going to collect. And I'm short. So I'll get a little bit more. So short, dang it. Okay. And I also try to go downward with my finger. This is because people are watching. All right, to the end. Okay. Um, <laughs> I 
should have brought an alcohol wipe. Okay, anyway, I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in to my shaker. And I'm going to make sure it is all the way down. There should be no gap there. Um, step three is verify blood, blood amount. We did that. Step four, insert. We did that. Um, let's put it into the shaker. Step five, shake vigorously. So we're going to mix it. It says shake vigorously six to eight uh, times. I've gained a couple pounds, and so now when I shake things vigorously, every, everything shakes. Um, so I apologize, but here we go. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, just to be, just to be good. Okay, um, so that's it. Now it says we're going to place that down, and this is my little table for right now. So I'm gonna place that down to the side. Step six, open the red pouch. Um, and inside is your cartridge. Um, the very first thing they'll have you do is line up your code on the um, cartridge and the analyzer. Now, if you can see them, they're F2. I'm going to push that all the way in so it looks like that. And it says wait. In one second, it's going to say sample. sample. Okay, so now we are on to step eight. We've gotten weight, we've gotten sample. Um, step nine is dispense sample into cartridge. So I'm going to, this time instead of touching this part, I'm going to remove the base side. And once it's open, I'm going to put it right on top of that circle and just kind of stamp it down. Um, it's a quick stamp. It says, uh, ensure analyzer is on level surface. Push down completely to dispense diluted sample. Remove quickly. Um, okay, so make sure it's on a level surface. This is not a real level surface. Well, we'll see. All right, here we go. Oops. Hmm. Okay, this is happening again because this is, okay, there we go. Taking off the bottom. Here's my level surface, lining it, and it says run. Um, so as soon as I see run, I'm pulling that back up, and the countdown. Okay, so in five minutes, I'll have an A1C unless I screwed it up, which is possible. Um, I have only had the one due to it being cold. Um, and maybe there was one with a blood sample issue that I just was, you know, being careless. Um, in general, every time I've done one of these against the lab, it's almost always been within 0.1 of my, my lab A1C. So I think these are great. Um, and especially during coronavirus and all this other stuff, when maybe, um, you know, getting out to the doctor's office is not as simple and fun as it used to be. Um, I think this is a great uh, uh, alternative. And I understand these things are expensive. Um, they are for me too. If you are able to buy in bulk, you can get the, the test for as cheap as $10 a test. Um, and I want to say that's if you can buy it in, I think in the 10 pack, it was maybe $14 a test or something like that. Um, you know, but it's, it's reasonable if you can buy them in, in bulk. Um, if you buy one individual one, it's, and you know, especially off of Amazon, it can be anywhere from like 20 to $40, complete rip off. Um, okay, the other thing I was gonna say is, um, I'm trying really hard to get around to making videos. Um, I just, you know, I'm doing lots of stuff at home and I know I keep coming up in the video and saying what I'm going to do and what I am doing and everything else, but I really am doing some, um, some cool things at home. Um, including I'm fin I've finished the CGM comparison chart finally and I look forward to doing a video about that and I also um, have taken off the Sensionics about 18 years ago and I've and I'm finishing that right up um, and I'm really getting ready really genuinely um, getting ready to start looking at um, control IQ versus basal IQ and kind of you know I guess get get maybe get a comparison going on that. Um, oh my gosh, it's ten minutes. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna hold you. Two two minutes and fifty seconds left until my A1C, and I have to wait until I get the score from my doctor's office anyway. Um, so I think I'll just leave it in the description how I did, along with a link to where 
I bought it. Hope everybody's staying safe, sane, and eating really well. Okay, thanks. Have a good night. Bye.